I'm Polina Nikeva and I'm an Associate Professor of Material Science and Engineering and Brain and Cognitive Sciences. My team works at the interface between material science, electronics and neurobiology and we develop devices to interface with the nervous system to be able to control its function and understand its functional with the future applications to diagnose and treat diseases of the nervous system. What brought me to this interface between uh, engineering and neuroscience is the incredible complexity of the nervous system and its uh, incredible beauty and all the signaling modalities that take place within the nervous system not only electrical but also chemical, mechanical and other signals that your nerve cells are exchanging continuously. And uh, what really fascinated me is how different the nervous system is from a material science perspective comparing to our conventional electronics. And our lab aspires to create electronics that will feel and behave like the nervous system to be able to interface with this complexity in a more organic way. Our lab has two key technical directions related to both stimulating and recording and repairing neural activity. One key technical direction is developing fiber-based neural probes, so where we use multi-material fiber fabrication methods to produce devices that look and feel like nerves that incorporate many different features, electrical recording, optical stimulation, optical recording, electrical stimulation, drug delivery, um, and potentially chemical sensing. And also, we could use similar structures as scaffolds to support nerve growth, but they're not just passive scaffolds. They can still incorporate all those interesting functional features to stimulate growing cells during this repair process. The other direction of my lab is um, dedicated to nanomagnetism where we develop uh, particles that are essentially tiny specks, you know, nanometer sized uh, chunks of uh, magnetic crystals and these particles are able to either dissipate heat or transduce forces when you expose them to magnetic field. And it turns out we can use this either little bit of local heating or a little bit of local force to stimulate neural activity, which can also be used either to control nervous system or stimulate growth. And um, this is, has an advantage because magnetic fields go through us completely unattenuated and do not cause any harmful effects. And I'm talking about really tiny magnetic fields. So we can essentially uh, introduce our particles into a given part of the nervous system that we're interested in modulating or um, treating in, s in the context of a disease and then we can apply magnetic field to the whole subject. So it, is, um, it can be done completely wirelessly.